Good morning, everybody. Andy Tuttle here with the Tuttle Group at Fairway. Hope you're doing well. I uh, just wanted to reach out with our weekly market update that we do every week so you know what's going on in the market, how that affects rates, and how that impacts you when you're looking to buy or sell a home. So we've got a lot to get to this week. Uh, let's get right to it. We had uh, some good signs for you. We had building co builder confidence up, buyer traffic up, starts and permits up, so new construction. There's a lot of good economic factors going on that are contributing to that positive push. So just know this is still a good time to buy or sell. Even though the market is uh, not as active as it was, that's a good thing. It's normalizing. That means there's going to be a little less competition. That means that uh, that when you're out there and you're making an offer, a seller is going to be a little more willing to work with you on that. So get out there and stay strong this time of year. And hey, maybe even get them before tax season and make some of those write-offs. That always helps. So let's get to the charts here. Okay, this is a price chart, remember, the higher the price, the lower the rates, and vice versa. You can see some good volatility here recently. Uh, last week, we had a little bit of a concern in the bond market, pushed through some levels, couldn't keep it there, and the uh, bond market fell, so prices rose about a quarter percent. We've tried to fight back. What you need to realize is we are up against a 200-day moving average. And what's important about this is this usually a strong ceiling of resistance or floor of support. As you can see, we've tried to go above it. Uh, a couple days ago, then Thursday, then Friday, couldn't get above it any of those days. The more you hit a line of resistance and don't go above it, the thicker it becomes on a technical side. So we'll have to see what happens next week economically, see what the reports happen, what happens with the tax bill that went um, uh, through the House but still has to go through the Senate before Congress can pass it. But uh, we will see how all that plays out. But we're in a very, very carefully floating position. So if you get a contract and we see any signs of weakness here, we're probably going to lock your loan uh, because we could see the prices deteriorate before we see some support. It's a good ways down. So uh, that's the news there. But it's a great time to buy. Stay out there. You're still in a good spot here. And we're hoping to uh, uh, see some push above this line early next week so we can get into some nice uh, territory above and maybe see some improvements in rate. If anything changes, we'll get back to you. Otherwise, happy hunting. Call us if you need us and have a great weekend.